Ever wondered why your joints sometimes sound like a bowl of Rice Krispies? Whether it's an intentional crack of your knuckles, the groan of your knees on the stairs, or a sudden snap in your neck, that popping can spark a mix of curiosity and maybe even slight concern. Today, we're diving into the science behind those joint noises. The pops and cracks you hear come from a variety of places, sometimes even from the same joint. Let's break down the anatomy at play. Synovial fluid. Picture this. Your joints are filled with a lubricating liquid, like nature's WD-40. It's called synovial fluid, and it has an important job, reducing friction and helping your bones move smoothly. Gas bubbles. Now, this synovial fluid isn't just liquid. It also contains dissolved gases like oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. The big stretch. When you move a joint, say, cracking your knuckles, you're stretching the joint capsule that surrounds everything. This rapid stretch causes a pressure change within the fluid. And those dissolved gases are forced to rapidly form tiny bubbles. Those bubbles can collapse or pop, creating the signature cracking sound. Think of it like opening a can of soda. That fizz is the sound of gas escaping. While bubble pops are the classic culprit, joint noises have other origins too. Tendon tango. Tendons are tough bands attaching muscle to bone. These can sometimes shift slightly out of position and then snap back into place over a joint. It's like a rubber band flicking against a surface. Rough and ready. Our joints are lined with cartilage, a smooth cushion for the bones. Over time and with wear and tear, that cartilage can roughen up. Think of two pieces of sandpaper rubbing together. Not so pleasant. This can lead to grating and crackling sounds. The great debate is intentional joint cracking harmful. You've likely heard horror stories of arthritis and swollen joints. Luckily, the science says otherwise. While frequent cracking might lead to temporary swelling, most studies find no long-term damage. In fact, that pop can sometimes bring a sense of relief for stiff joints. But, and this is a big, but... Here's where we need to listen to our bodies. If cracking is accompanied by pain, swelling, or a change in the joint's range of motion, that's a red flag. It could signal... Arthritis. When cartilage wears down, causing bone-on-bone -bone friction. Injury. Damage to tendons or ligaments due to overuse or trauma. In these cases, those snaps and crackles are your body begging for a doctor's visit, not just another stretch. Let's put some joint cracking myths to rest. Myth 1. Cracking your knuckles leads to big knuckles. Nope. No evidence to support this. Your fingers might get temporarily puffy, but that's about it. Myth 2. Cracking your joints causes arthritis. The reverse might be true. Arthritis can cause those rough joints that make more noise, but the cracking itself isn't the cause. Myth 3. Once you start cracking, you can't stop. While the sensation can be oddly satisfying, it's not addictive. Joint cracking isn't just about knuckles. Here's a fun fact. Different cultures have diverse views on those pops and snaps. Back talk. A satisfying back crack is celebrated in many places, a sign of tension released. Foot loose. Toes can pop too. While less common, it follows the same principles with tiny joints and tiny bubbles. Neck and neck. Deliberately cracking your neck is trickier and might carry additional risks, so it's often advised against. If you have neck stiffness, see a professional. Listen up. Your body is a great communicator. If the crack comes with pain or limits your movement, pay attention. That's different than occasional painless pops. Keep moving. Regular gentle exercise helps joints stay healthy and lubricated, potentially reducing those noisy moments. Docs to the rescue. If persistent or painful cracking is affecting your quality of life, doctors and physical therapists can help with targeted strengthening and flexibility exercises. So the next time you hear that familiar snap, crackle, or pop, remember the science behind the sound. It's a surprisingly complex symphony of bubbles, tendons, and the way your incredible body is designed to move. Did these joint facts surprise you? Got any funny joint noise stories? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more explorations into the fascinating world of the human body.